Hello, I'm Pedro and I'm here to show how super curves works. Here in this example, we will try to open a door using a curve. So now we just need to go to window, curve editor, and we'll create a new curve. I will set a folder to save our curve and input some name. Now we can uh, place some points in our curve using the right mouse button add point. If I click with the left mouse button I can move my point or I can also input the value that I want. I will add another point. I want a smooth transition between these points. For this case, I will just press smooth. <laughs> I will create another channel so I, I can have more than, than a single curve inside the curve asset. These points I will use the custom so I have something different. I can press flatten to align horizontally the tangent. Okay, so now I have two curves inside my curve asset. I can modify the name of my curves. Now I just uh, I can close my curvy asset. Here I have a door, and uh, I have here a script that I want to edit. Here I need to create a public variable type fc assets underscore curve asset I need uh, I need to transform to public transform variable which I will use to reference my door parts lower door part and the upper door part I want to open the door if my player starts to to become near the door. So I need a, a transform to reference the to reference a position. I can create a private variable the type curve that I want to start uh, my curves 
which we have created inside our curve asset curve one curve two we need to store our initial position for our door now when the game starts I want to set these curves so I will use curve 1 equals to curve asset point get curve by name one of the names that I that I use it is door open which is the same as the index zero in this case curve two asset point curves I if that is another way to get my curves I can simply use the curves variable and use the index identifier here is the index one I can also set my initial positions lower door initial position equal equals to lower door part point position so I have a, a function on trigger state which will verify if the object which is inside the trigger is a has a has the tag player if it, that is a, the tag player in, in our object the, the door can start to open or, clo or, or close it depending of the distance of the player from the door so now I create a float variable distance equals to reference position which is the player now I can get the magnitude now I will set the position of my lower door part and the upper door part initial position minus a new vector 3 In the y-axis, we will use the output of our curve. Curve 1. Time point get value. And the input will be the distance. We will make the same thing to our upper door part. Point position. Upper door initial position. In this case, I will use it plus vector 3. Distance. OK now I can save let's see if we don't we don't have errors uh, okay our variables is here we just need to assign 
let's assign our curve our curve we have uh, many objects inside uh, our object we just need to assign our object which has the same name as the asset this is the the, the object type uh, fc assets underscore curve asset which uh, is the same object that we need now we just need to assign the lower door part and the upper door part no. let me correct ok and the reference position will be the the player ok let's test ok working we have here a very small movement we need to edit this magnitude I will divide by 4 so when the player is 4 units distant from the door the door can start to open I will also move the multiply my movement by 4 Okay, let's play again. Okay, it's working. Now we have two curves. We can use the secondary curve to modify another part of our door. So let's assign a new transform door part two. We need to get the, the position, initial position of our door part 2. Part two initial position equal equals to door part two point position. We already saved our secondary curve in our curve to variable. Now we just need to modify our position. part 2 point position door part 2 initial position plus a vector 3 which you, in this case will be the curve 2 ok let's save and we need to assign our new our new door part Okay, I have here the door part 2. I will use the, this cube, which is this cube. So now, when I play the game, let's change to the scene view. Okay, now we have a different movement.